what appealed to me about the DBA was two things. One was I really like the applied focus, which is going to allow me to research a problem that I see going on in, in many workplaces. And the other was that I'd had a really good experience with Athabasca before doing a distance education program, knowing that it was actually designed around my other life, which involves work and travel and family, and I knew that I could do it. I personally think this is a very, very good program. Um, they train me, uh, advance a lot of my intellectual property, like how I think, how I um, defend my position, and, and so I, I, I honestly will recommend this program to anyone yeah, who need a more flexible lifestyle. When I moved to Canada, I realized that uh, the PhD, most of the programs, you have to be a full-time uh, student for two years, uh, which I didn't want to do that. So I was looking for a DBA program. I was aware of the DBA programs in England, UK. And actually, I was in touch with few universities there. And I, when, when I was getting ready to apply for a DBA program there, I found out about Athabasca, so I decided to join this. One of the reasons I chose the program is because I'm the mother of two small children. And there was no way that I was going to be willing to go to a program and do a full-time residency. So this program's really given me the flexibility to continue to do not only my work, but to be a parent and keep my priorities in line. A lot of our professors, not all a lot, but some of them have, have gone through that same experience of having a full-time professional management position while they did their own doctoral degree. So they understand the students very well and what they're going through and the different types of challenges they'll have. And so they're, they're very accommodating in that aspect. And uh, so that has been a challenge, but it has been easily accommodated thanks to staff at AU. The flexibility of being able to do it online has definitely made it a, a doable thing. Uh, so, I, I mean, that was really one of the main driving things. And so I can do it at late, late at night or on weekends or whenever I have free time. And when I'm traveling, I can still, still participate in it. So it's the flexibility and the way it's structured has sort of made it uh, you know, a key thing. One of my goals coming into the program has been to disseminate my work throughout the hopefully five years that I'm in this program. And so from the first year, uh, my paper was accepted at an international conference, so I had an opportunity to go to Paris, which was fantastic. And I made connections with scholars whose work I was reading and building from. Uh, in my second year, my paper was accepted at another conference in Italy, so not only did I have an opportunity to travel to some wonderful places, but to meet people who I might collaborate with in the future and, and really practice and test out my, my theories and my ideas uh, within the community. I would say to somebody who's considering the DBA program, take a good close look at what this is. Talk to a few of the people that are in the DBA program now. Learn what the courses are all about. Learn how the program works, what the flexibility is like, what an easy option it is actually if you have the time, the ability and the interest to, to engage in, in dissertation studies and um, go for it by all means. It's definitely a challenge. It's something that's uh, it's not an easy process, but it's a challenging, rewarding process. I'm really happy I did the program. I'm enjoying it. I like the people. I find it you know, intellectually stimulating. It's enjoyable. I'm, I don't have any regrets. From day one, I joined Athabasca. Up to today, I never regret. I think it's a very good program, and uh, people, people changed me. And instead of like, it's not so much my success, I think it's the, this outcome is, is, is everybody's success. If I look back on the last few years, I'm definitely happy that I did the DBA program. And uh, as I get closer to the end of it, it's certainly, uh, I'm, see I'm seeing that light, the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. And absolutely, I'm glad I did.